This is Hay Garden Guide, Charlie Stocker, uh, where you can ask questions and we will answer them via video and a number of ways, but we're on haygardenguide.com is our website. Hey Garden Guide, Charlie Stocker is our Facebook page and our YouTube page. And uh, we have a question from Madison. Uh, she has a number of house plants. She, in fact, she's crazy about house plants, according to her note here. And uh, she wants to start them from cuttings rather than going out and purchasing them every time she wants a new house plant. So that's what we're going to look at. How do you start house plants from softwood cuttings? And the first thing you're going to need is a healthy plant. Now this particular uh, hanging basket house plant is a Bolivian wandering Jew. And as you can tell, the green is very good on it, very vibrant, and it's a very healthy plant. So that's number one. You want a healthy plant. Number two, you want to make sure that it is well hydrated. That for the last, oh, two to three days prior to doing your cuttings, uh, you have made sure that it is watered heavily so the plant has a lot of water in the stems. And number three, and the reason being is, once you've cut it, uh, the water, the hydration in those stems uh, need to be, uh, they help in knitting the roots after they start in the soil. The third thing you want is a soilless mix. Uh, a good soilless mix you can purchase anywhere, but healthy plant, hydrated plant, a soilless mix, and then here we get started. You want to take anywhere from a four to an eight inch stem off of the plant and you want to leave one leaf on it and take all the other leaves off of the bottom and dip it into what we call root hormone stimulant. And what that does is that automatically starts the development of the roots on the one end of your cut uh, piece. After you dip it in the gibberellin or the uh, root hormone, then you stick it in the soilless mix. Generally, we find that new cuttings do not like a full sun. They like a lot of humidity, but not a full sun. So you want to kind of put it a little bit where maybe there's only 40 to 50% uh, sun available to the plant. It will generally take anywhere from two to four weeks and you will then, you can simply tell if the roots are forming by pulling out just a little bit, tugging on the stem and seeing whether or not it's holding fast to the soilless mix. And if it is, you know you've got a new plant. So you might wanna try your own cuttings and seeing how this helps you in the population of your house plants. This is Charlie Stocker, Hey Garden Guy, raising your garden IQ one question at a time.